sometimes it's necessary to prepare a buffer solution of a particular pH. If the pH of the buffer that you need is the same as the pKa of the acid or if the pOH is the same as the pKb of a basic buffer, then you just need to have a one-to-one -one ratio of conjugate acid-base partners. However, if you want a pH around the pKa or the pKb, pOH, then you need to um, have a different ratio, not a one-to-one -one ratio of the conjugate acid-base pairs. Let's take a look at this example. Say you want to calculate the ratio of the molarities of the acetate ion and acetic acid needed to buffer a solution at pH 5.25. That means you want to keep the pH of a solution that may be stressed by a strong ester, strong base at around a pH of 5.25. Well, the pKa of acetic acid is 4.75. So clearly, we are not going to be able to use a one-to-one -one molar ratio. So to figure out the ratio that you need, you can simply use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, pH equals pKa plus the log the initial concentration of the anion of the acid divided by the weak acid. Okay, and so if the pH uh, that you want is 5.25 and the pKa you know is 4.75, then you just need to find the ratio of the um, anion of the acid to the acid. So we'll just call that ratio x. So you can uh, subtract 4.75 from both sides of this equation and you'll end up with 0.5 equals log of x. And then you can just take the inverse log, which in this case the inverse log of um, the log is um, 10 to the x. So you take 10 to the 0.5 to solve for the x and you will find on your calculator that x equals 3.12. So since x is the ratio of the anion to the acid, and it's equal to 3.12, then what that's telling me is that I need to prepare a buffer in which I have 3.12 times more of the anion than the acid. So for example, I could have a buffer solution where the anion of the acid, the acetate ion, was 3.12 molar, and the acid was one molar.